Hi everyone and welcome to the first for the Mighty Avenger movie action figure review by me Rex Shorts. Now to say I'm going to be bringing you a review of one of the figures from the 8 inch scale for movie action figure line and as you can see it is the Marvel's Destroyer figure. Now I got this figure yesterday from one of my local Tesco stores for £10.47. I think it's a really good addition to the collection. Um, I'm not seeing many of these around here in the UK, probably just a rare figure or perhaps one that has just been released here in the UK. So very good addition to my collection but before we go into any more detail about the figure or the character of the destroyer himself, we're going to take a quick look at the packaging. Okay so if we take a look at the front we can see the figure in all of its plastic glory strapped into the middle, surrounded by pictures of the Mighty Avenger himself and also some product information like the name of the figure and the company names. And on the side we've got another picture of Thor, the Mighty Avenger from the movie, played by Chris Hemsworth. Then if we take a look at the back we can see a picture of the Destroyer from the movie and also a bit of information about the character himself. I never actually knew that it was Odin that built the Destroyer until I actually saw the back of the packaging on this so I think it's good that they've added a bit about the character himself um, on the back of the packaging for those who do not know the character too well or perhaps those who haven't actually seen the film. Then at the bottom you've got some pictures of other items from the Mighty Avenger action figure slash toy line. Then you've got the same usual product to come information at the bottom. Okay, so that's it for the packaging and now we're going to start taking a closer look at the Destroyer. Okay, so here we have the Destroyer from Thor the Mighty Avenger, one of the main villains in the movie. This figure is... A very good figure in my opinion. It is a really nicely detailed figure with some great paintwork, but there are some other things which I think could have been improved about, it, which I'm going to go into more detail about later on in the video. But for now, we're just going to take a look at the detailed paintwork and sculpting of this awesome villain. Okay, so if we begin by taking a look at its head sculpt, we can see there is a really nicely detailed part of the figure. If we look at it up close, we can see his big orange and yellow eyes which are painted to look as if they have flames inside them and this does work really well on this figure. It's been painted with a really nice metallic silver colour making the figure actually look like it has been made out of metal when it has actually been made out of plastic. Um, Really nice paintwork on the head sculpt. As you can see, some of the paint from the eyes has slipped onto the side of his head, but this isn't easily noticed from a long distance way. Also on the top we can see the flat bit, which doesn't really have much detail, but does stand out very nicely from the rest of the figure, which has quite a lot of texture in and a lot of um, detailed features. Um, so if I was to give a summary of my thoughts on the head sculpt, I'd say it's really good. Um, looks very much like the Destroyer's head from the actual Mighty Avenger movie. Um, it's got some really nice detail, the paintwork is absolutely fine and I don't think it needs any improvement. So if we take a look at his body we can see that this has also been painted with the metallic silver colour used on the head. In some places there are bits of dark silver like on the torso and on the hands but um, it is mainly a light silver colour and this really does help to make the figure look as if it's been made out of metal even though it is actually made of plastic. The torso has some really nice detail like the muscles on the chest, the spikes on the arms and on the shoulders and also some spikes on the sides of his chest as well. If you take a look at the back we can see more of the metal plates used by Odin to build the destroyer before the events of the movie as well and then if we take a look at the top of his back we can see more of these brilliant muscles. And if we take a look at his hands now we can see that he has one open hand which is his right hand and also one closed hand which is obviously his left hand. I think it's good that the people that made this figure decided to give him one open hand and one closed hand because this really does help for putting him in lots of different poses. You can have him looking as if he's going to grab someone with his right hand or have him looking as if he's going to punch someone with his left hand. Both the hands have been painted and sculpted really well. They look really nice. Um, they don't actually have any articulation, 
but they are still very good features of the figure and I don't think they need any improvements. So if we move on to his legs now, we can see that they are also very highly detailed. You've got more of those really nice silver metal plates along with the spikes which go down the sides of both of his legs. And if we take a look at his feet, we can see that they are pretty simple. Um, they've just been painted with a mixture of dark and light silver and they don't really have much detail on them, but they look just absolutely fine the way they are. So that's pretty much all the detail of the 8 inch destroyer figure. I think this figure doesn't need any more detail whatsoever. It has all the detail it needs to be a really nice, highly detailed figure of the Destroyer from the movie. The paintwork is also really nice. I really like the metallic silver colour used for this figure. It really does help to make the figure look as if it's been made out of metal when it really has actually been made out of plastic. Um, I think maybe the silver used for this figure could have been a bit darker to perhaps make it look just a little bit more accurate. But it still is a absolutely brilliant addition to my four movie action figure collection and it still looks really nice the way it is. Okay, articulation. His head can turn from side to side and because it is on a ball joint it can go up and down as well but not very far. The arms can do a 360 degree turn from the shoulders, the legs can move backwards and forwards on the top. And that's all the articulation you get on this 8 inch figure of the Destroyer. I think the articulation on this figure is okay, but I think the figure could have definitely have been a lot better for fans of the movie and collectors of the action figure line if it had, let's say, ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, and maybe even also ball jointed knees to make this figure a lot better for those wanting a figure of the Destroyer with good articulation. Um, you can still put it into a lot of poses with just these five points of articulation which are on the figure at the moment But I just think because this figure is of a larger scale that it could have done with um, some more points of articulation To make the figure a bit more interesting. But it still is a very good addition to my four movie figure collection It's a figure that I really like and now it's time for me to give a summary of my thoughts on this figure Okay, so overall I think the 8 inch destroyer figure from for the Mighty Avenger is a really nice figure. It has some absolutely brilliant detail like the spikes, the yellow and orange eyes and the metal plates which help to make it look like a really nice accurate figure of the destroyer from the movie. The paintwork on this figure is also absolutely brilliant. Um, the metallic silver all over the body really does help to make this figure look like it has actually been made out of metal when it really has actually been made out of plastic as I said before. The articulation on it is okay. I think it could have been better with perhaps some more ball jointed parts as I said before but even with just the brilliant detail and paintwork it has, it is still a really good figure that I'd recommend to anyone that is a fan of for the Mighty Avenger. So if I was to give the Destroyer figure from the 8 inch 4 movie action figure line a rating out of 10, I'd say I'd give it a 8 out of 10. It's a really great figure of the Destroyer from the movie, it has some brilliant detail and fantastic paintwork. But as I said before, I think it could have been better if it had some more articulation and perhaps if the silver used for it was a bit darker. But this is still a figure I'd recommend to anyone which is a Marvel superhero fan or someone that is just a fan of the for the Mighty Avenger movie. And that is pretty much all I have to say for my review of the Destroyer figure. Thanks for watching this review, YouTubers, and I shall see you again soon.